Praise be Jesus Christ. I'm Father James Walling, the chaplain at the Blue Army Shrine. We are now involved with the sorrows of Our Lady, meditating upon the seven sorrows, spending Lent with Our Lady. This is a, a very beautiful blessing to meditate upon the sorrows of Our Lady. Today, we're then thinking about the flight into Egypt, where our Lord Jesus is with St. Joseph and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, as the three of them flee to Egypt because Herod is, try, is pursuing Jesus. He's persecuting him, following after Jesus to actually kill him. And that, that must be very frightening. So thinking about it, what I like to do is, is think of what this would be from the perspective of Joseph and Mary, you know, just like any of us. When we don't know what the future holds, uh, it, uh, it, knowing what the threat is, there's someone wanting to follow us and to destroy uh, any good thing that comes down our way. And it's as if, does God care? Of course God cares. So this is a meditation also on the providence of God. When we think of St. Joseph in particular, being the protector of the Holy Family, he may have been conscious of, of the robbers along the road or how they would find their next meal or even just simply uh, fresh water to drink and, and food to eat. You know, these were great concerns of Joseph and Mary for their divine son, Jesus Christ. And so meditating upon how Our Lady also had sorrows of wondering what, uh, what is God's will as we fly. And it truly is God's will for the sorrowing mother at the time is to trust in God's divine providence. He will provide. And so when we actually strike into the deep, strike into the unknown waters, we do have to trust in God that he will keep us afloat. That's actually a good meditation that St. Peter had when the Lord Jesus called him and said, come to me, come me, to me on the water. And Peter said, "If Lord, if it is you, bid me come and I'll, and I, and I'll strike out into the deep. And uh, if it is not you, I don't want to go, but because I know it's you who's calling me, I know that you will provide for my safety. I'm truly confident that that's the attitude of the sorrowing heart of our mother Mary, not knowing what the future is. Trust in God's divine providence says that because God is calling us into this unknown territory of this foreign country, this pagan nation, a very godless people, very frightening to go into the unknown. But if it's God calling us, I know he will provide for us. And so in sacred scripture, it relates about this trust in God's divine providence. Arise and take the child and his mother and fly into Egypt and be there until I will tell thee. For it will come to pass that Herod will seek the child to destroy him. And Joseph arose and took the child and his mother by night and retired into Egypt. And he was there until the death of Herod. Whenever you have to strike out into the deep, strike out into the unknown, and it's very frightful knowing what the future holds, if God is calling you, do not be afraid. And our Blessed Mother, the sorrow and immaculate heart of Mary, she will be your comfort today where, wherever you go in this life towards heaven. Thank you for meditating with me and blessings to you and your family this Lent.